We present a case of a 54-year-old man with several weeks of diffuse abdominal pain. On physical examination, his abdomen was soft and his hands and feet showed diffuse petechia. Laboratory investigations revealed raised C-reactive protein. CT scan showed signs of occult ileocecal perforation and segmented small ball wall thickening. On explorative laparotomy, multiple 5 to 10 centimeter hemorrhagic small bowel skip lesions without any perforations were detected. No resection was performed as the affected segments showed active peristalsis. Further laboratory testing revealed antineutrophile cytoplasmic antibodies against protein A3, hematoria, proteinuria and urinary casts. We made a diagnosis of granulomatosis with polyangiitis presenting with intestinal manifestations. Under prednisolone, the symptoms relieved and the patient was allowed home. One month later, he attended again with acute abdominal pain and peritonitis. CT scan showed free intra-abdominal air. A further explorative laparotomy revealed several ileal perforations. We carried out a small bowel resection and constructed an ileostomy. Histopathological workup revealed necrotic tissue, severe peritonitis, some small vessels with microthrombi and partially enhanced infiltrating granulocytes in the vessel walls. Renal biopsy confirmed granulomatosis with polyangiitis. At regular follow-up visits on treatment with prednisolone and cyclophosphamide, no new manifestations of the systemic vasculitis were detected. Granulomatosis with polyangiitis is a necrotizing vasculitis which mostly affects the respiratory tract and kidneys. First, intestinal manifestations leading to surgical complications are extremely rare. Granulomatosis with polyangiitis may be treated with glucocorticoids and other immunosuppressive agents. Such therapies might increase the risk of intestinal perforation.